Hi everyone, Dr. Urban here. I'm continuing my discussion of prebiotics. This video is part of a playlist, so just uh, hang on. The next video will come up. This is number three. I don't know how many videos I will have. You may want to follow me or this channel and uh, always, uh, I'm not going to just be talking about prebiotics in the channel, but uh, this playlist will be about prebiotics. So I've talked about a little bit about prebiotics in the first two videos. And what are prebiotics? Well, just quickly, they are soluble fibers that are not digested in the proximal gut. They go to the distal gut where they're fed upon and be become feed for bacteria, good or bad. Depends on what you do and depending on what you feed. So you can determine uh, by your food what's available. And that's important because there's a constant war going on in your gut between good bacteria and bad bacteria, they don't declare themselves to be one or the other, they just want to have their babies win out. And it's a little bit of a no holds barred where the dominant bacteria is determined by your food. So when it comes to prebiotics and what I have to say, you can tip the scale in favor of what bacteria you want by your choice of prebiotics, if any. Now many of you are just being introduced to this subject, well, then get on the playlist and let's pursue it further. But I want to leave, so I want to leave you with a couple things. First of all, 93% of chronic diseases, now I'm not talking about specific things, 93%, that could be blood pressure. Well, let's put it this way. There are things you can measure like blood pressure, your gut circumference, uh, your weight, um, there are things you can see, like skin rashes, tremors. Uh, there are things you can hear, like your f faint, halting voice, or stuttering, or memory that's not there. You can see these, see and hear these things, or you can feel things, like you can feel your the rumbling in your stomach. You can feel fit chronic fatigue. You can feel. Uh, gurgling in your stomach and abdominal pain. You know, those people with uh, leaky gut can tell you about abdominal pain. You can't see it, but you can sure feel. So there's feeling and see, feeling and measuring. So you say, well, this stuff doesn't apply to me. It's because it has, may not have been caught, but you have, you have the feeling stuff that you're, I don't know that you're ever going to be measuring that. And then you have the measuring stuff, and if, if they're not apparent, you can say, well, everything's just fine. This doesn't apply to me. No, that's not true. It just means that it's not apparent or you're not looking for it. So take a different look at how you value yourself because you're going to be the determinant, ultimately, of your disease in the future, uh, I think, or you really should be. So there's that battle going on in your gut between good bacteria and bad bacteria. Then uh, Dr. Gundry states... Uh, you may like probiotics. I favored probiotics. I was taking probiotics and prebiotics. I thought, oh, you know, fiber, why, why fiber? But so I kind of lean toward the probiotics. They're hopefully living bacteria that make it through your stomach and then they go in the gut and they repopulate it and they do happily and then you live happily ever after. Not so fast. Not if they don't have the right prebiotics. So Dr. Gundry says that if you take probiotics without prebiotics, you're wasting money and that absolutely makes sense. So what to do? You need a prebiotic mindset. I talked about it in the last video, but what is a prebiotic mindset? Let me give you an example I got up today. I've made videos on, videos on prebiotics. I take prebiotics. I take a supplement. It's there. It's in the house. It's not very exciting. Uh, and I got up today and it was, I, I do a uh, intermittent fasting and so when it was time to break the fast, uh, I was headed not for my prebiotics, but just for food in general to break the fast. And it occurred to me that I didn't have a prebiotic mindset. And I had to stop and say, uh, thou shalt take prebiotics. And I prefer, as Gundry is in the habit of doing, taking them with the first food of the day. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tighten that up. Prebiotic mindset answers this question. Uh, in the affirmative, am I taking prebiotics today? Because that battle is going on constantly and you are putting food in there. 
So you're, you're tipping uh, to some bacteria and avoiding others selecting for, for certain ones, and the good or bad determines on how your system works out. So that's really what I want to say. Consider uh, joining my channel. Um, look in the description, as I said, and let's see where this takes you. But get that prebiotic mindset. What have you done with prebiotics today? Not tomorrow, not in the future. There are natural uh, prebiotics. You can look them up on the net. And there are supplements. I favor supplements. And I have a link to the supplement I'm taking right now in the description. And you can uh, use it or not. Be well.